The final control in the location category is symmetry. Symmetry is essentially the flat version of concentricity and establishes a tolerance zone composed of two parallel planes in which the median datum points of non-cylindrical opposing features must fall. This measurement can be done for slots and cutouts as well as tabs or parallel surfaces. If you recall from derived median plane flatness, the median point of every opposed pair on a cross section is found, and then repeated down many cross sections. If all median points fit within the TZ, the DMP is flat. The TZ will again look similar to flatness since the TZ is between two parallel planes. However, the key difference is that the symmetry is in relation to a datum plane. Just as with concentricity, symmetry is a control that is difficult to measure, requiring the calculations of as many midpoints is as realistic for a given cross-section, and then again for as many cross-sections as is realistic. These median points then need to be compared to a derived datum. This process is typically only practical to do with a coordinate measuring machine, or CMM, which is a high-precision 3D scanner. Symmetry, which controls only median points, allows for typically undesired results. For instance, a slot drawn like this and controlled only for symmetry allows for variations along both horizontal axes. The part could pass inspection with an angled cut along its depth, like this, or an angled cut along its width, like this, as long as the top and bottom were symmetrically angled. Similarly, the symmetry control would also allow for symmetrically wavy cuts along either axis. Again, both of these strange cuts pass symmetry and cost much more to inspect, while simply controlling the position of the slot or the flatness of the two surfaces likely would have been cheaper and more effective. Like concentricity, symmetry is almost always not the control you want to use due to limitations in what it's actually controlling and increased costs of inspection. We've now discussed all three location callouts. Position is the most common GDNT callout and is used to describe tolerance zones around a nominal location in reference to datums. The two common types of position are position of an axis and position of a feature of size. Concentricity controls the location of the median points of diametrically opposed points on round features in relation to a cylindrical tolerant zone which references a datum axis. Symmetry controls the location of median points of opposing points for parallel features in relation to a flat TZ. Concentricity and symmetry are difficult to inspect and probably not what you want to use. Now it's time for an understanding check on all of the location callouts.